Hi friends, today we are going to talk about one very important thing that you will be hearing and um, everywhere and you probably want to know in details because I wanted to know in details and lots of times you know in the SAP world or in the software world they use lots of acronyms, lots of small short form which you may not know. So here is the thing which is very important that you will be understanding. Here is the traditional landscape, which is they generally say on-premise solution. Okay, this is something infrastructure as a service, which is called IaaS. Okay, and there is another one called platform as a service (PaaS), and then you will for sure you will hear heard about SaaS, software as a service. So here is the more most important the difference. These are all the difference. So here you can see. Anything which is in blue is cloud provider managed and anything which is white is customer managed. So most of the companies before used to use this concept, okay, traditional landscape where you have the application architecture. Okay, it can be an application architecture like an SAP, you have Oracle or something, then you have system softwares, okay, different types of softwares, then you have the database which can be a Oracle or a, a, a HANA or something. Okay, and then you have the operating system, then you have this, this, this piece, which was the storage and all those things was here, virtualization and all those things. So you remember you used to have like people used to say, hey, you, you are consuming a lot of database and all those things. Okay, so this was managed here. Now in the infrastructure as a service, what happens is your ERP and all those things are still customer managed. But if you see this blue portion is now managed by the cloud. So you have given that solution to the cloud. So you might say, what, what does that mean? That means this is a solution where you have hired this cloud provider company. Okay. And suppose you have infrastructure team for of like 10 people. You probably want to get rid of 70, 70 to 80% of your resource there. And you give that amount of to probably a less amount because they tell you why why you want to move to cloud because there should be some savings there. So the company says, okay, you know, now you are paying for 10 people with us, you will keep two people uh, and you will be giving us four people's worth of money. So the company saved four people's worth of money. So it's all about cost cutting. So truly speaking, it's just cost cutting business, nothing more. Okay. So then you have a platform as a service. The platform as a service is, oh, you can get rid of everything. And this is the application architecture. So here you will see only have the ERP where you can do your coding, your configuration and all those things. But all these things are managed by the cloud solution. So if you have an IT team of suppose uh, 50 resource and uh, you have the ERP team, which is like 10 resource, you will want to keep 10 resources and you will keep another probably five for each of this process area 111 is to manage the aliasing between the cloud provider uh, and then the rest you can say you know five resource and give me the money of 20 resource and 15 resource you save money out of it so it's all about cost cutting and then you have the software as a service where you give everything out and you probably have one person who just manages or it's just the business who manages this. So software as a service can be anyone like uh, Concur Solution, uh, Steel Glass. Uh, it can be, it's not really success factor, success uh, Ariba and all those things where you can't really code inside uh, the system. Okay. Uh, now they are starting with small here and their code like through configuration and all those things. But mostly if you want major changes, it's not going to happen because it's being shared. So you need to understand when you are taking this solution or EBA concur, if you are a company which always want changes and uh, and you are, you want uh, things, uh, if you are, let's be honest, we are not saying changes, we are saying you are not disciplined and you want changes right now, right now, right now, probably that is not your process. That's not your um, expertise or that should not be your path to go. So this is very important. Okay. Try to understand this. Anyone who is working in SAP or moving to S4HANA, any new 
SAP consultants, you need to understand because these are solutions, they will be using these words and it's always good to know all these words. And trust me, 80% of the, 70% of the people who uses these terms, they also don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so this is very important and try to understand the basic portion, okay? So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.